Hi, welcome to beautiful Wales. I'm at the Harley Davidson Adventure Centre to show you exactly what goes on on one of their experience days. I was very kindly invited here by Harley Davidson UK because they're running a promotion. If you buy a Pan America before the end of September, you get a complimentary day here at the Adventure Center. So I've come along to find out exactly what's involved in that day. The Harley Davidson Adventure Center is set in over 1500 acres of beautiful North Wales countryside on the edge of the Snowdonia National Park. You'll come across pretty much every type of terrain you're going to ride across within those 1500 acres. Your training will include riding on grass, there'll be mud, there'll be gravel, you'll have stony climbs, you'll have rocky descents, there'll be deep ruts. Pretty much everything that you may encounter whilst out riding off-road you'll find here at the Adventure Centre. <laughs> There's also a few small specialist training areas so as you build your confidence you can start to push what you do and the bike does under the expert guidance of Mick Extance and his team. These may look daunting at first but there's no need to worry. You'll only get taken to the places that the instructors know that you're capable of riding and they'll just gently up your skill level and your challenges as the day goes along. Once you've arrived and got parked up, you'll go through to the Harley Davidson reception area. Here you'll watch a short introductory video to show you what to expect for the day. And then it's time to get kitted up. Don't worry if you haven't got the appropriate gear, the center will supply everything you need from boots, waterproof textile suits, gloves, and helmets. Now that you signed up, suited up and had a delicious cup of coffee you'll be taken around to have a look at your steed for the day and Mick will spend a little bit of time going through the controls and everything you'll need to know about the bike. That puts you under pressure doesn't it? <laughs> Morning all, welcome to the HD Centre for those who want to wear. I'm Mick Exton so I'll be your instructor today leading you around and enjoying some beautiful kind of scenery and introducing you to a pretty impressive bike the Harley Davidson Pan America. But just before we do that, we're going to take it right back to basics. And by taking it back to the basics, Mick gets you really comfortable with the bike and it's a really good preparation and platform for what's going to come later in the day. And how I explain the clutch is, when we pull it in, we own it. When we let it out, we don't own it. It owns us. After this short but incredibly useful introduction, it was time to pull the helmets and gloves on and get off to the Adventure Center, which was just a couple of miles up the road. It was here that we got things kicked off on some grass. And as Mick explained, this is generally the first piece of off-road that adventure bike riders come to. You may be going to a campsite. You may need to get across somewhere to get to wherever you're staying. And grass can be notoriously tricky. When I was playing as a kid, that's quite slippery. So yeah. we should start to adjust our riding to suit that surface. So after a few tricks and tips about clutch control, braking and overall balance, we spent a bit of time winding our way around this grass field and then ventured off into the ferns and the ruts to the side. And this is definitely where Mick's earlier advice about using your feet to get your balance came in super handy. The big asset to this bike, as you can clearly see now, my feet are nicely planted on the floor. And these are the biggest asset. Here, we're strong. Our feet are sat on the floor, so I can start to use them. And these are the best stabilizers we've ever been given on whatever bike. I feel it's so important. After a little bit more instruction on how to deal with loose gravelly surfaces and what to expect from the bike, we ventured upwards and upwards to get to the higher trails. And this is where we came across the first obstacle where things started to get interesting. Now, it may not look very much on here. It is only a very short, small bank. 
But when you've only been riding a big Pan America 1250 for a hour or so, it is a challenge. Now that we'd had a few goes on the bank and were happy and comfortable with the control, it was time for some single track and Mick led us up onto what he called the top trail. It was quite rough and rocky through this section, but the Panamanica dealt with it with no problems and it did lead us out to our first really nice viewpoint. One of the biggest problems I encountered was up in the heather. Being there on a warm, humid day meant that the flies were an absolute nightmare in places. Definitely a place to keep your visor down. But we pushed on to this trail to get to another little playground. By this time of day we we're all starting to get a little bit tired, a little bit hot and a little bit hungry so Mick led us back to the adventure centre to pick up some gear. So that's the morning done and what a fantastic morning it's been. Mick has taken us on some grass to get us started, get us used to the balance of the bike, teach us a few tricks of clutch usage and balance 
and uh, one thing that I picked up particularly is not to be afraid to put your feet down and water yourself through ruts if you're having problems with those. Now I must admit that some of the stuff that I've ridden today I didn't think I would ride and I certainly didn't think I'd ride it on that. Now I don't want to make this sound like an advertisement for Harley Davidson um, but that bike is far more capable than I would ever be and as a novice uh, off-road rider you've seen my attempts at the ABR festival uh, to come here and ride some of the stuff that I've been riding on that bike has just completely blown me away and a lot of that has come purely from the uh, education and the knowledge that Mick has taken and passed on and of course you don't have to worry if you are a novice because Mick and his team will take you through step by step and they'll only progress you on when they feel that you're happy you don't get forced into doing anything they're not here to try to demonstrate how much that bike can do they're here to get you to ride and to enjoy your off-road riding or your adventure riding and it's been absolutely brilliant if you don't want to do a certain thing that's fine but you'll find your confidence grows and i found my confidence growing and mick will just take you through to places that you never thought you could go so if you have the opportunity and certainly if you buy a power in america before the end of september you'll get a free day at this course which would normally cost you 349 pounds I highly recommend you take them up on that offer. And even if you're not buying a Pan America, I would highly recommend booking a day down here with Mick and his team and getting to explore this beautiful Welsh countryside. The rumbling of our tummies and the lure of lunch was calling, so we hot-footed it across some beautiful country roads to get to our lunch spot. But our off-road antics weren't over yet as Mick decided to take us to the hotel via the tradesman's entrance. After a much deserved and delicious lunch at the beautiful Lake Vernwy Hotel, Mick took us back out for a road ride to show us some of the great places there are to ride in this region. We headed up around Lake Vernwy towards Bala and then picked up some beautifully scenic roads to head back to the Adventure Centre to wrap the day up. Obviously this gave us the opportunity to see how the bike performs on tarmac and having already ridden and reviewed this bike back in October 21, it gave me an opportunity to reacquaint myself with the bike on tarmac as well as compare that to the off-road riding that we'd been doing in the morning. Now when I reviewed the bike I was impressed at how nicely this bike rode and I did say that it does seem to fit the bill as an all-round adventure tourer. That decision hasn't changed and if anything given the training that Mick gave us and the exploits that we had on the dirt I'm even more impressed with its capabilities as well as its comfort. Inevitably riding in Wales led to a little bit of rain but that only appeared as we were riding back to the Adventure Centre HQ where I grabbed a couple of minutes to chat with Mick himself. Okay so that's the end of the day I've had a fantastic day and Mick I just want to thank you for taking us out and showing us around we've done gravel trails we've done a bit of mud there was still some water if you look at the footage you're probably thinking well that looks really easy but for somebody that's not really done very much of it with a big belt like this I think it's testament to what I've learned from Mick but also testament to what this bike can actually do if you'd have stood a, my, me there at the top of that and said you're going to ride one of those down there today I'd be yeah all right I'm going home <laughs> of course I am Mick yeah <laughs> <laughs> but you have but I have yeah, yeah and safe yeah, yeah. And it's all the time learning about these. Now, Mick, as we talked about earlier on, as far as I'm aware, this is a completely stock bike, with the exception of the crash bars. They are a Harley Davidson yeah, accessory. Absolutely. They don't come as standard on the bike, but apart from that, everything else is standard. You don't tweak the suspension, you don't no, absolutely. change anything. Out the showroom bike, really. Right. The only difference you will find on this is this one's got the Michelin 
Anarchy. Okay. Yeah. Road tires. Yep. But you were riding on the stock tires. I rode on the stock tires. Okay. But they are there. I, and I wasn't it, brave enough to do that. <laughs> as it does get a little bit wetter, you know, for sure the anarchy does come into yep. a little bit more. Uh, but as we said, the big asset to this bike is it's got the active suspension yes. that, that lowers it, and the seat height is really favourable to us because it's so important when we're riding off road that we can touch the ground. Yeah, and yep. that is the big part of this bike. I, I could never emphasize enough, the feet are the big asset. It, because then we can nice and calm it down and touch the ground and use them in lots of situations. As it gets more technical, the more we're connected with the ground with our feet, the more we want to do it. And that's the big thing. Never think it's wrong to put your feet down, put them down. You know, it could be the difference if you get into the end of your adventure and not. If we keep these nice gloves clean and wear the soles of our boots out, <laughs> we've kind of done what we set out to do in the morning. Yeah. Yep. done some pretty impressive climbs and, and it just kind of reads what's coming at us and allows us to do that but that also comes from a bit of training to understand the change of when we go onto different surfaces sure. like the grass this morning yeah yeah we like we're going to turn onto it we all know grass is slippery so before we arrive there we've already adjusted our riding we're going to be smoother give ourselves more braking time to allow that to come to us yeah, yeah. and that is another big part that comes from experience in doing a little bit of off-road. True, and I think that's where a lot of people on these sort of bikes or adventure bikes are going to do that. They're going to be getting to campsites, they're going to go across the grass, and arguably a wet field with a bit of incline is is technically a little bit trickier than some of the rougher, yeah, stony yeah, tracks absolutely. that we absolutely, yeah. And it's just going through that technique, isn't it? I was one of the worst ones at it. We all get a little bit angry and feel we need to rev it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then we're just encouraging the bike to spin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the campsites, unfortunately, getting further away from us, not closer to us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and if we just calm it down. Now, I've learned certainly that, that um, what did you call it, Tommy Tick Over? T -t tick Over Tim. Tick Over Tim. <laughs> yeah. So just, uh, just letting the clutch out, getting the bike going without any throttle and then feeding it in. Whereas sometimes you think, on, as you yeah. said, on a bit of an incline, I need that gas. You're holding it on the brake, bit of gas, yeah. brake wheel brakes traction, yeah. and you're not going anywhere. No. But actually, it will just L pull it away. So I found the throttle on this really easy to use. It's sensitive, but it's not snatchy yeah. or... And that's why it's a nice, off. friendly bike. You're at one with it when we go off-roading. We can just nice and calmly before we go on, lower the seat. Yeah, yeah. I say we can touch the ground, and then when we come back on the road, we just tip the seat back up, and we are in a little bit more comfy position. We've done quite a lot of work on the road today and seen some pretty impressive views. And It's been beautiful. Yeah. It has been beautiful. So as I said in, earlier in the video, Harley are doing a deal where if you buy a Pan America, you get a free day here, which would normally cost you £349. So if you do buy one of these or if you're looking at one of these and you get that offer, I think it runs till the end of September, then definitely, definitely take them up on that offer. However, even if you're not looking at one of these bikes and you just want to come and experience this beautiful countryside, learn a little bit um, about the control of the bike and using it off-road. I've got so much out of today, um, just in the uh, few hours that we've been, well, I say few hours, most of the day we've been riding, but I've got so much out of it. Um, and if you're a complete novice, or even if you think you're a pretty good off-road rider, there's always something to learn. When you've got a, a Dakar finisher, a multi Dakar <laughs> finisher. Mick's very good at judging where you are on the bike and what your capabilities are. And he won't get you doing anything that he thinks is going to create problems for you. And that's the big part, really, to enjoy it in, and take that in. And that's the big part here. We're here to share it with everyone. My passion is so much into this. And seeing people smile and going off on adventures like me when I committed to my first Dakar, it means the, the same thing to yeah. grab and help people go and succeed in putting their dream into reality and heading away and having a great time. Mick, thank you very, thank much. You very much. I've Absolutely had a amazing fantastic day. day, fantastic bike. Um, yeah, big smiles. Yep, looking nice with a bit of uh, Welsh yeah. dust on them, not they Welsh do, mud. No Welsh mud. Well, we had a little bit of mud <laughs> today, but not very bit. much. Yeah. yeah, a brilliant day. So thank you very right. much. Thank you for coming across and sharing it with us. No problem. Thank, thank, you. thank you. So all that leaves me to say is then until next time, thanks for watching. Take care, ride safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.